Our reliance on using fossil fuels to power vehicles has led to the release of huge quantities of pollutants into the atmosphere. Thankfully, though, manufacturers are stepping up their attempts to leave behind our addiction to oil and move to something more environmentally friendly, while on the whole remaining affordable. There's a whole host of different solutions depending on power requirements and how these machines are used, so take a step with us into the future as we look at 15 incredible new energy vehicles. Number 15. Solar Impulse 2 Aircraft are some of the biggest polluting vehicles in the world, and while we're not yet ready to see electrically powered versions transporting passengers between destinations anytime soon, companies are already developing solutions that have been proven in a real-world setting. The most impressive of these is the Solar Impulse 2, which in 2016 became the first solar-powered plane to complete a circumnavigation around the globe. While this feat took 16 months to achieve, work is underway to perfect the design to allow short journeys that take no longer than fuel-based alternatives. The Solar Impulse 2 is 73.5 feet long and has a wingspan of 236 feet. The reason why the wings are so large is that they're covered with over 17,000 photovoltaic solar cells that are able to harness the sun's energy and provide all the power the plane needs to operate. With four electric motors on board that spin the 13-foot diameter propeller, the plane is able to achieve a top speed of around 87 miles an hour, although this reduces to around 37 miles per hour at nighttime to conserve energy before the sun rises again. It's far from being technology that can be applied across the industry, but it may not be long until solar cells are used to power most of the onboard electronics, which will lead to a massive reduction in the fuel needs of commercial planes. Number 14. Tesla Model S the vehicles that are responsible for burning the largest volume of fossil fuels in the world are, of course, cars, since most people rely on them for short- to mid-range transport. With increasing concerns about urban air quality and the overall effect on the environment, companies like Jaguar and Ford have recently announced their intent to move to an all-electric range within the next 5 or 10 years. But it's impossible to talk about electric cars without mentioning the company that first began bringing them to the masses, Tesla. Sometimes it takes a visionary leader to make strides in a market like automobiles, and Elon Musk has managed to do just that. No longer are electric cars associated with short ranges and long charge times, as the Model S proves. Launched in 2012 and updated in 2014, this model now boasts a top range of 402 miles, which is far more than any other electric car. It's also great fun to drive, with a top speed of 163 miles an hour on some versions, and equally as impressive acceleration too. Despite being nowhere near one of the largest manufacturers in terms of volume, Tesla is now the most valuable car company in the world, thanks to the way analysts expect everyone to soon shift over to using electric vehicles, and the fact that the company is way ahead of the competition in terms of developing the technology needed to make it work. Number 13. Urbino 12 in many urban environments, it's simply not practical to use a personal car, both because of the traffic during certain times of day and the difficulty in finding somewhere to park. Public transport is, therefore, the preferable solution, and manufacturers are now designing buses that use renewable energies to help further to increase the air quality where they operate. The Urbino 12 is a great example of this, and is produced by a company called Solaris. Fitted with a 60-kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell and a bank of batteries, it essentially creates the electricity it needs to operate while it's driving. The hydrogen itself is stored in gaseous form in containers along the roof, and this is fed into a fuel cell where the charge is created. The company claims the buses have a range of around 200 miles before needing to be refueled, and this process is as simple and as easy as refilling gasoline. What's brilliant about a system like this is the only byproduct by a hydrogen cell technology is water. For now, it's slightly more expensive per mile travel than traditional combustion engines, but as more vehicles start to use hydrogen power, these costs are expected to fall to an equitable level. Number 12. EMOS Truck You'd have thought that while smaller vehicles are increasingly becoming electrically powered, it wouldn't be so easy for larger vehicles that are responsible for transporting heavier loads. While it's definitely been more of a difficult problem for manufacturers to solve, there are already trucks on the road that do so. EMOS is a small manufacturer from the Netherlands that first created an electric-powered 12-ton truck in 2009 and has continued to improve upon this design. It provides kits that can be used to convert existing gas-guzzling vehicles into electric cars and is now beginning to produce new models by itself. 
The company admits that making a truck electric can add somewhere between thirty dollars and $300,000 to its initial price, but this has been proven to save money over its lifetime because it can be charged when electricity prices are low. They have a range of between 100 and 200 miles before needing to visit a charging point, and while this won't be anywhere near enough for long-haul drivers, it could potentially be useful in urban environments. As the technology progresses, these distances will increase, and there will almost certainly be a time in the future where it's economical for all trucks on the road to be electrically powered. Number 11. Planet Solar Historically, boats were all powered by renewable energy, whether it be human power or harnessing the wind, but the Industrial Revolution saw design of combustion engines and changed the face of sea travel forever. We're now at a stage where boats are beginning to be designed that are just as technologically capable as ones that burn fuel, but instead use alternative energies. Planet Solar, which was the product of a venture by a Swiss explorer in 2010, is currently the largest solar-powered boat in the world, and in 2012 became the first solar-powered vessel to successfully sail around the planet. At just over 101 feet long and 50 feet wide, it's covered in 537 square meters of solar panels that can generate 93 kilowatts of power. They're connected to 8.5 tons worth of lithium-ion batteries that are used to store the charge for times when the sun isn't shining, and in turn feeds the current to the two electric motors, which are in each of the vessel's hulls. The boat isn't exactly the fastest, with a maximum speed of 16 miles an hour, but the development of the technology has to start somewhere, and this was an impressive first step. Number 10. The E-Utility Tractor Without tractors, farming would be far less efficient than it is today. But if you've ever found yourself driving behind one on the road, you'll know how much fuel they use and the fumes that they release into the atmosphere. The difficulty with making an electric tractor is that these vehicles in particular need to be powerful to pull all of the heavy farm machinery, and farmers don't often have the time to set aside for charging them up, so a range of electric vehicles is a major hurdle too. You don't have to start with the biggest models though, and the first fully electric tractor to be brought to market is targeted at small farms, livestock management, and other low-powered utility work. Known as the E-Utility Tractor, it's produced by a company called Selectrac and has the equivalent of a 40-horsepower engine. Fitted with a 28-kilowatt-hour battery pack, it can run for between 4 and 8 hours on each charge, but this is where the difficulty comes in. The batteries can be recharged to 80% in 3 hours, but to return them to 100% requires them to be plugged in overnight. The company has designed a replaceable battery system so you can, in theory, continuously run the tractor while the spares are recharging, but this isn't always practical. With what they've learned from this small model, Selectrac hopes to be able to produce a much more powerful version within the next decade, and electric power could well become the norm for all farm machinery of the future. Number 9. Energica Ego We hear so much about electric cars and how they can be as fast and fun to drive as petrol-powered ones, but what about superbikes? The answer is that there are a few models available, and they're becoming so popular that there are many more on their way to market. The best available at the moment is called the Energica Ego, and it's designed and built by the Italian-based Energica Motor Company. This bike has a crazy top speed of 160 miles an hour, which is all the more impressive considering it's fully electric. It has a 107-kilowatt motor, which is powered by an 11.7-kilowatt-hour battery. It produces 200 newton-meters of torque and a huge amount of futuristic technology on board. It uses, for example, four-level adjustable engine braking, which can harvest excess speed to recharge the battery, an electronic display dashboard, and even parking assist with assisted braking. Despite weighing around 620 pounds, most of which is the result of the batteries, the Ego can accelerate to 62 miles an hour in just three seconds and has a range of around 100 miles with normal use. What's impressive, though, is that the batteries can be charged to 85% capacity in just half an hour, meaning you have enough time for a snack on your trip before you're ready to get back on the road. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Hydroflex Train Trains around the world have used electrified tracks for decades, but the problem is this tends to waste a lot of energy. You can't always be certain that the power has come from a sustainable source. Back in the days of the first trains, they were powered by coal, and companies are now looking back to this method of propulsion, but instead using new energy sources instead. 
The Hydroflex, which is the nickname given to the dull-sounding British Rail Class 799 train, is a prototype train that's been built that uses a hydrogen fuel cell. It's relatively easy to convert trains to work like this because most are already designed to function on electrical charge, so the difference is that they're receiving this energy from an onboard power source instead of through rails or an overhead cable. A fuel cell big enough to power a train currently takes up an entire carriage, so isn't necessarily an economical concept quite yet, but tests on this first version have found that it can maintain a speed of 50 miles an hour. Improvements are planned that will see the hydrogen fuel tanks and cell being moved from a carriage and installed on either side or suspended beneath the train. And if these designs prove to be successful, they could become a preferred option for suburban railway services worldwide. Number 7. Mack Trucks LR Utility vehicles are vital to the operation of communities, but one type that's often overlooked is the garbage truck. Without them, our towns and cities would become overrun by trash, but most of them are petrol-powered, so arguably produce as much pollution as they take away. Mack Trucks, an American company based in North Carolina, has developed a solution to this, though, called the LR. It's been designed to be highly maneuverable to squeeze through the trickiest of streets and is available in a fully electric version. This truck has two AC motors that produce the equivalent of 536 horsepower and can generate plenty of torque to keep it moving in tough conditions. It's virtually silent too, which means there's no longer early wake-up calls for residents and with a simplified drivetrain, far less maintenance is required to keep each truck on the road. As it's designed for a very specific purpose, the LR garbage truck doesn't have a fast top speed, but this trade-off means that it can easily cover a day's route before being charged overnight. Number 6. Surefly eVTOL The difficulty with designing electric-powered aircraft comes down to the weight of the battery packs in comparison with the amount of lift that can be produced, and this is particularly tricky if you're trying to build a helicopter. Numerous different designs have been attempted, but the one that's made the most progress is a Surefly eVTOL. Originally designed by Workhorse Group, a truck manufacturer, the project has now been taken over by an aerospace company called Moog Incorporated. And while the first prototypes have retained the use of a gas-powered engine, the incorporation of batteries and electric motors means that while the technology is improved to make the elements lighter, it will one day be able to be fully electric-powered. Looking more like a drone than a traditional helicopter, the quad propeller design allows for precise control and increased stability. Each propeller arm has two electric contra-rotating propellers that are powered by batteries and a piston engine. The engine itself is used to generate electricity, which is fed into the batteries and then to the motors. Intended to cost around $200,000 when it's released to market, it'll have a maximum speed of 86 miles an hour with a range of 70 miles. If successful, it could well become an alternative to cars for short distance transport and would surely be a much more enjoyable way of traveling too. Number five, energy observer. While some manufacturers have begun developing solar-powered boats, the technology is not yet able to generate enough current to propel heavy vessels through the water at useful speeds, so others are looking at different ways of incorporating new energy designs. The Energy Observer, which was built in France, became the first hydrogen-powered boat to sail around the world in 2017. At 100 feet long and 42 feet wide, and weighing in excess of 30 tons, it uses a hydrogen fuel cell to generate electricity that powers the motors and propellers and can currently achieve a top speed of around 10 knots. The idea of this first prototype, which is a converted racing boat, is that it can be taken around the world to inspire engineers and further develop the technology so one day a purpose-built hydrogen boat will become a reality. It has now been turned into a floating laboratory that can test hydrogen, solar, and wind power, and is taken to extreme environments like the Arctic to see how these methods of energy generation work in difficult conditions. It's hoped that the data collected will fast-track improvements in all three renewable energy sources and help us bring a lot closer to a fossil fuel-free world. Number 4. Curiosity Energy production for national grids around the world has long been reliant on burning fossil fuels, but for decades, nuclear power has been seen as a cleaner alternative that's about to become cost-effective on a large scale. Vehicle manufacturers, too, have explored the potential of using atomic energy as fuel sources, such as the Ford Nucleon, which was designed in the 1950s, but has been proven to be too costly and potentially dangerous to ever reach a mass market. There is, however, one vehicle that does rely on nuclear batteries, and it's the Curiosity rover that's currently exploring Mars. 
it has an inbuilt radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which converts the heat that's released by radioactive decay into an electric current. There are no moving parts in a system like this, and it's not actually all that dangerous to humans, since a battery like this only uses a small piece of radioactive material. The battery on Curiosity is designed to last for at least 14 years. In the beginning, it produced 110 watts of power and 2,000 watts of thermal energy. But as it continues to decay, this output is slowly reducing. Still, if there's a way to make it more economical to fit cars or other vehicles, it could mean the end of needing to refuel, and instead you just need to completely replace the entire power unit every 10 years or so. If it was available, could you ever see yourself driving a nuclear car? Number 3. The Bobslaw While most forms of transport function during the majority of weather conditions, there's one time when cars become all but useless, when it snows. This isn't so much of a problem in most places, but if you live somewhere that's covered in snow or ice most of the year, then as well as a car, you probably need a vehicle designed to cope with slippery surfaces, and a snowmobile is the best option. Essentially a motorbike on sleds, most ones available are petrol-powered, but an Austrian company called Bobslaw is hoping to change all of that. Their first fully electric-powered vehicles with sleigh treads were aimed at the leisure market, offering those who don't like skiing a way to enjoy mountain resorts. But they're only at the beginning of unlocking their full potential. With a 12-kilowatt dual-motor drive, it can already reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour and has an effective physical brake that brings you back to zero in virtually no time. It's also been specifically designed to be easy to learn, so you'll be able to get going within a few minutes of familiarizing yourself with the controls, and it's being pitched as the next snow and ice based pastime. Beyond talk of forming a bobsled racing league thanks to the vehicle's ability to drift and slide across the snow, but the company has now turned its attention to how the bobsled can be adapted for functional purposes, such as long distance transport and carrying supplies to remote regions. It'll need increased power, but after what they've learned with their first design, the company is confident this is within the realms of possibility already. Number 2. Formula E Motorsport is one of the most popular spectator events around the world, whether your passion is NASCAR, Formula One, drag racing, or rally racing. But the one thing that's true about all of these championships is that the vehicles used all rely on combustion engines. Some, like Formula One, have attempted to introduce hybrid engines and more economical designs, but there's a new championship that began in 2014 that's gone a whole step further, with every car involved being completely electric-powered. Known as Formula E, every driver uses the same type of car, which is currently a Spark SRT05E. With a 54 kilowatt hour battery, these are able to reach top speeds of 174 miles an hour and have enough range to complete a race. As the championship is on the cutting edge of electric power design, a number of the top car manufacturers in the world have their own teams, including Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Nissan, BMW, and Jaguar. While their involvement is to help further publicize their brands, it's also because the ethos of the racing league is in line with their respective road car businesses, and anything they develop for use with Formula E can be adapted to their mass market operations to further increase their competitiveness. Number 1. Airbus Zero E The only electric planes to actually be able to fly useful distances with anything other than gas power are able to do so by significantly reducing their weight, adding huge arrays of solar panels, and by traveling extremely slowly. This of course isn't anywhere near what electric-powered aircraft need to be like to enter commercial use, but Airbus believes this will be possible by the 2030s. They're so sure that they've already developed and announced their concept ideas for what they call the Airbus Zero E, a passenger jet that produces no emissions whatsoever. Instead of storing all the energy they need on board, they are instead hydrogen-powered and will have a highly efficient array of hydrogen fuel cells on board. The gas itself will be stored at high pressure in cylinders along the fuselage and would only require small battery packs to store excess charge just in case there's an emergency. According to the company's projections, the turbofan design would be able to carry 200 passengers up to 2,000 miles, which would mean it could potentially replace gas-guzzling planes on the majority of domestic and nearby international routes across the globe. There still needs to be a proof that hydrogen power is safe on aircraft, because it's a notoriously flammable material, and the airline manufacturer also needs to vastly improve the efficiency of current hydrogen fuel technology before these concepts are viable. It's definitely the goal, though, and within a couple of decades, this technology could be powering all of the new aircraft entering the skies. 
Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.